so uh, my personal life goal is to make everybody have at least five hundred dollars a month uh, in salary in income and yes. for this purpose and that is for Pakistan now for Gaza it could be one thousand dollars so that people have a good life be decent middle class life I don't know how much money you in need Gaza for that. that would be around the three hundred fifty to, four, to maybe around maybe five hundred as well yeah so for this i teach um entrepreneurship and i have a book i'm sending you the book via whatsapp <clears throat> and it's Excellent. a course it's a seven minute video anybody who follows this video can start their own business anybody who anybody who follows the step then i personally coach them if they want to but they have to first follow the steps and even i invest money if if i think the idea is good or i guide them that you can have another one so that is something which I would like to extend my um, help towards people in, in your circle of friends. Second, okay, excellent. Second, okay. I, second, I believe that culture, we live in a global planet now. Everybody is interconnected. So I have collected 5,000 interesting people from around the world. Um, the per capita GDP on my Facebook of friend is... I would say uh, at least half a million dollars a year is per person income if you collect the people. So if you have friends who make a lot of money, they can guide you also how to make a lot of money. Uh, but you cannot, you cannot go to your friend and say, teach me, teach me. It's slowly, you know, it's slow process. You will have to learn. So what I started to do is I tell people, if you will take my 500 Facebook friends and make them your friend, I will give take my friend. You will have friends from everywhere and uh, interview 10 of them like this for 15 minutes. Fakat. I will give you a free laptop. If you do for 1000 people and uh, 50 interviews, I will uh, give you a smartphone. And if you do for 1500 people and another 50 interview I will give you money to invest in your business no problem tell me what you want uh, because I believe that if you do this your English becomes number one you are able to communicate two you are not uh, radical as much because now you have friends you have friends who are Christian Yahoo's uh, American everyone so you are you are exposed you understand other person's point of view uh -huh. And three, you are uh, have the courage uh, and the friends who will help you reach your goals faster because they have done it already. They are interesting people, so they have already done it. So again, I would like to extend this to your circle of friends. So far in Gaza, I have given four laptops in the last five years because people don't trust me. They think I am some kind of joker clown who is wanting something from them. And... Um, so far, I haven't found people who can take from me. And uh, it's um, the second thing. The third thing is, I want to interview 50 people from Palestine. You are number seven. In five years, okay. I cannot find seven people to talk in English. And they're shy or they're hesitant about coming to video or something. So I don't know what's the problem. But maybe you can um, uh, talk with them. And if somebody wants to give interview, I will be happy. Um, I also pay. I want to hire a freelancer who can take interview for me from people of Palestine. Uh, it can be in Arabic. It can be in English. No problem. But it has to be 15 minutes of conversation, non-political, non-religious conversation to know the person, human being. And... Um, I pay around $10 per 15 minutes of interview. So if you know somebody who can do this, um, I will be happy to pay also for this. Inshallah. And uh, number I'll... five, I would like to come to Gaza if my brother is coming, the other gentleman. Um, and I don't know how to come, um, to be honest. I have invitation before from Israel. I did not go. Uh, but I don't know... Uh, I think there is no visa required for Pakistanis um, to come to Israel, which means that I can go to Jerusalem 
which means that the Imam of the Masjid al-Aqsa is my friend, I can meet him. Um, and But the problem is my passport say I cannot travel to Israel, so I need I don't know what my government will do if I go and you know say hi I'm here I don't want to cause problem for my own country and you know for my for anybody I think they I think the Israeli government would welcome you because they think a Pakistani a Pakistani is visiting Israel is a achievement to them because they want you people to visit Israel so I think that would cause you a great deal of a problem with your government you're living in Pakistan now, right? Yes. Okay, that would cause a political problem. But I can still ask and find out what you can do. In your case, the best to tr is to try to come through Egypt. Unfortunately, things are extremely complicated from the Egyptian side. So I, should, I have been trying to do something for Hasib, so let's try it and see what we can do about that. Okay, inshallah. If... If we, I would like to document a way because um, I believe uh, in creating solutions. I know I'm an entrepreneur, so I want to solve this problem. And if 1,000 people can come from Pakistan, it will be good for your economy. It will be good for media. It will be good for exposure. Of course. <clears throat> uh, of course. A lot of people, brothers I know, want to marry people from Palestine, even, no problem. Um, that Because that is one way of giving citizenship. To Pakistan uh, otherwise yes. you cannot get citizenship so a lot of my uh, fam even my own brother is willing to marry somebody from Syria or from Palestine to at least help one person to come in um, and uh, that is the least you know you people think uh, it's for fun marriage is not fun I mean everybody who's married knows that uh, no it's not fun yes so it's a you know it's a responsibility and I want to encourage other people to visit Palestine and Gaza, especially if there is no visa requirement. Um, and, you know, there is a lot of, uh, you know, Pakistanis are all kinds. There are poor Pakistanis, but there are also very rich Pakistanis who would love to travel and who want to help, but they don't know. And it's so complicated to, so I want to make a small book or document or video on how to get to Gaza, for example. Like I sent you, I will send you a video on, how to start a business in seven minutes, if I can teach that, I would love to teach, you know, how to get a visa to Palestine or how to go to Gaza and, you know, and, and teach you in five minutes. That will allow more people to come. And more people who come is is good friendship, is good for learning Arabic. We want to learn Arabic. Um, if I was the prime minister of your country, the first thing I would do is teach everybody uh, English. And because that will give a bigger voice and they can live in your country and do nothing and work online. Second, education problem has been solved because uh, edX, which is Harvard and MIT, gives free education of higher studies, absolutely Harvard and MIT degree for free to anybody who can study, but it's in English. And then uh -huh. Khan Academy is uh, available and YouTube is full of education and you can get better education than any education institute in Palestine because it's you know these education institutes are very old the knowledge is there and it's all free there is no cost to it and then that's you, very right and you are blessed with having um, internet available to you which means that you guys can work online I have another friend you might have heard of her her name is Majid she started a company called Green Cake and uh, she is now running a solar business uh, in Palestine in Gaza and she's mm -hmm. selling for $80 or $100 a kit, which you don't need electricity anymore. You install and you have power all the time. So, and then there is more need for people like Majid and others. Majid is 23 only. And I met her in Boston. Um, so we need more role models like her to come forward um, and, and at least talk um, to each About other. About their experiences. I started a show to teach English on Facebook. So every day, 7 p.m., there is a friend of ours from Washington, D.C., who comes for one hour and talks and helps anybody who wants to learn English through Facebook for free. For the last nine okay. months, it's happening. Uh, every single day, it's never absent. And you have friends who want to join, uh, you can join the show. It's on my page on Facebook. 
and uh, it's also called Carla's Classroom. Um, you can join and you can learn that. I have another friend, Amy Carrier, whose school is online, also on Facebook. It's called Amy Carrier's Classroom. She teaches entrepreneurship. She helps mentors, and there's a lot of teachers. Every day there is a class, and it's all free. So people who okay. really want to change their life, they can change their life. They don't have to think that, oh, I cannot do this, I cannot do that. So we have to work on our mindset also that, yes, like for example, me, I was born in a, a good family, rich family, but I was denied visa to the U.S. 11 times. I was denied oh. international visa 26 times. Even though I had a house in America, I have a business in America, I still couldn't go. So I was thinking, oh, there must be something wrong with me, this, that, this, that. But all that rejection made me into the person I am. So Very Allah, true. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us some pain to make us strong. It's like doing exercise. When you're doing exercise, it's pain. You know, it's, it's hard work. But that makes you into a strong person. Very true. So I am your, I'm happy to be connected with you. Uh, there is a, I'm happy to. I would love to see your face on your Facebook so that people can see it's not a fake ID. It's a real human being. There is a map right now and there is a function on Facebook called follower function. I have 700,000 people who follow me. I would love for them to follow you also so that okay. more people can hear your voice and your voice goes everywhere in the world rather than just in your little space. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> Anything you to want to that. ask me, you are welcome. Thanks a lot. The, what you have just said, provided some very important uh, details about what you do, what you aspire to achieve, the way you see people and the way you treat them. I think that's for now is very good. I will, what I'll have to do is to try to make uh, that uh, image. Uh, that uh, image that you saw in the Facebook is a, a bird and in that bird there is the uh, Palestinian flag. And it is rather an aspiration that Palestine would sometime would be uplifted and would be free. That will happen when people And as to the... Inshallah. <laughs> and also that the follower uh, quality, I will have to activate it uh, now, Inshallah, after I finish with you. No problem. Thank you so much. Uh, I feel very connected with you. It's love at first sight with you, Mashallah. You are a good, open-hearted human being. Um, I will I be honest, I'm very disappointed with people in Gaza, especially because they're very scared of human beings. They shouldn't be scared, you know. What will happen maximum? What will come? You know, we will die. Nothing. That's the big problem. We shouldn't be scared of anyone, especially our own people. And, most, and once you let go of the fear, everything starts happening like magic. Inshallah, ta'ala, everything will be fine. Um, uh, let's try to do what we can to make the world a better place. Inshallah, no worry. Thank you. So much, Thank you. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah.